In the woods I went to walking In the woods I went to stumbling through the dark Well his hair was tied with ribbon And the staff he held it frightened way Happy Halloween y'all And welcome to Dying for Daylight this is a game by Charlene Harris, the writer of the Sookie Stackhouse series. I haven't got to read it myself, but evidently it's not mainstream vampires. Oh man, this song is amazing. That game bar is going to be in my way and I can't move it. Dahlia, wake up! Five more minutes. It's good for my complexion. No! Now! Look at this! Vampire invades wedding. How rude. Dahlia, this happened in broad daylight. Then he wasn't a vampire, and her gown is bad 70s disco. But he is a vampire. This is Alejandro Filoff, owner of the Cirque Terrible in New Orleans. He must have the legendary... Sun Potion. The what? I've been searching for it for centuries. Think of it. A potion which allows a vampire to walk in the sunlight. Sax? Tiffany's? Is it possible? I'm sending you to New Orleans. Find out if Alejandro has the Sun Potion. And if so, get it from him. Why me? Because you can charm the skin from a snake, my little vampire. Besides, no one will suspect you. Hmm. I have been looking for an excuse to visit the VQ. I'll do it. Okay, like any, um, hidden object game, it's got all these different things. What happened here? It looks like a war zone. Episode 1, Vampire Wars. Well, no wonder it looks like a war zone. to know in case I need to use my hair dryer. Yep, just grab these fuses. Um, Rescue jaws. I think I'll borrow those. A couple clicks and there it goes. It's a pickle barrel. Yeah, it's A quite... virtual tourist machine. Maybe I can locate the Cirque Terrible on here. Hi there, y'all. Welcome to the Vampire Corner. So we native call it the VQ. be a short in this machine because every time I've come past it I can hear it in my left um, left side of my headphones and it's like is there something wrong with my headphones uh, I'm not quite that southern am I okay there is an optional arcade minigame hidden within the scene called happy guillotine winners receive a special prize click anywhere okay hey you get scores for hitting people's enemies. You lose scores for hitting innocents or doing nothing. Game is over if score reaches zero. Enemy will be executed when score reaches ten. Beat the game to get special prize. People's enemy is green. Go! Broccoli? He's blue. Yellow? I can't see my score in front of the game board. Oh, I won though. Death's Head Ring. The silver floridaless ring was rumored to have been created by Dracula's order in 1764. This particular specimen is a knockoff. Aww. Okay, all the trophies you happen to procure in the course of your adventures will end up in the trophy room. You can visit the room anytime to admire your collection. Okay. Hi, Jack Skellington!
Fluffy bear. Ah, oh, that fluffy bear looks rather menacing. Oh, here's the apple. You found Invisiglue. I closed. Dead, dormant, and beyond. Hello? You don't happen to be alive, do you? I mean, are you still undead? You have your head attached. Ah, oh, that guy on the balcony really stinks. I can't go up there. The fuses are missing. Okay. Two. Power is on. Good. The smell of that body is already dissipating. Like, what happened to you, dude? That's a snake bite. I've heard there's a snake that turns blood to jelly. I hope it's not still around here. I wonder if that has anything to do with, you know, the other guy saying Dahlia could charm the uh, skin off a snake. Hey, it's a five. I could use one of those. No way did that just happen. It did. I might be able to reassemble it, but I'll need to find some glue first. Okay. Yep. Let's see if I can piece this thing back together. Yeah, um, puzzles are really common in hidden object games, but I like them at least. You know, a little time to do. So this other. Oh, there. there we go, Abe. You found five dollars. Three padlocks? Must be something exciting back there. But I'd need something strong to cut those locks. Yeah, we'll have to come back later. Vermin. How homey. I need that bone. Vampire Wars? I'd like to read about what happened here, but the door is jammed. Lucky me. Vampire Wars. It took neighbors of the Vampire Quarter several minutes on Sunday night to realize that the screams and thuds they heard were not business as usual. I slept through the whole thing, said Elmer Whittle, who owns a barbershop on Orleans, but my wife is still hiding under the bed. Police and firemen rushed to the scene, but their accounts of what occurred are confused. They saw dark, hooded shapes moving at tremendous speed, and vampires literally flying apart in the street. A tactical retreat was called while they waited for daylight, but well before dawn, the BQ quieted down on its own. At a press conference this morning, Mayor Foray said, Damn it, these may have been vampires, but there are vampires. No one comes into New Orleans and does this to our citizens. Any vampire still out there can rest assured that we will protect you. Minister in danger. Kills head of asylum. Five are killed. Two people. This must be from the vampire wars. The call is burning. Mm. Oh, yeah. There's something new here. A presence. I better use my vampire senses. This calls for a vampire strike. What are you doing in a pickle barrel? Oh, hey! Uh, I'm a big fan of pickles. Mm -mm. My grandmother made pickles, you see. Had a brand called, uh, Grandma's Toeses. Toes, because, uh, pickles look like toes. They hung all over in her kitchen. Couldn't move around without bonking your head on pickles. I still bear the scars. I see. Well, I'm going to count to three. Then I'm going to rid you of that lying tongue. One, two... Okay, okay. I just dove in there because I was scared. Yeah, see, I'm a tourist and I thought I'd visit the old VQ. Guess I pickled... picked a bad time. I heard you coming and I hid. Hmm, I don't smell fear on you. It's the pickle juice. It's known for covering the scent of fear. Hmm. 
Okay, tourist, scram. And I would advise leaving the VQ post haste. <sighs> Thanks, doll. See ya, and be careful. Oh, some humans are just determined to die young. That guy is such a bad liar. I can't believe that guy was hiding in a pickle barrel. Kinky. Well, that's not my word for it. Thank you. Listen, y'all. You simply cannot miss the Cirque to Rebla. It's an all-vampire circus that's just dreamy. Here's the address. Five, 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 Dauphine. Y'all get on over there. Have fun. Any piece of important information, like the one you've just discovered, will be added to the journal. The journal will keep blinking until you've read what was added. Notice that the compass is now blinking too. It means you can now move to a new location. I'm on a mission from Cedric. He thinks of the vampire in New Orleans. Alejandro uh, Philoff has a potion which allows a vampire to walk in the sun. Could it even be possible? Funny how you don't miss human things until there's a glimmer of hope that you might be able to have them again. I'm off to the vampire quarter. Alejandro will be putting in my hands. I got the address of Cirque Terrible, Alejandro's vampire circus. Time to get over there. The map shows the places Dahlia has identified as part of her search. You can go to Cirque Terrible by selecting his icon on the map. So a lot of it is spider web because we haven't been there yet. I still don't know what that little bat's from. Let's see. Well, hidden object came time, I guess. The uh, Sarah Master discovered. I Congratulations! You have found a business card. Ye gods, that reeks. There's no getting past that garlic and silver. But there's another smell here. I'd better use my vampire senses on it. Hmm, I think there was a message on here, but someone knocked it over. Let's see if I can figure out what it said. Oh. Garlic and chains. Nothing is ever simple. I finally get to Cirque to Reblay only to find it chained and locked. Nice. I'd say someone is afraid, but of what or whom? Is it related to the sun potion? Now, I've actually recorded this episode already, but unfortunately I had recording issues. So I already know what it says, but oh, it took me a while to figure out what it said. Use secret entrance Alex you found a clue about how to get to cert into the cert terribly this is you secret entrance I need to find the secret entrance I found a message Alex left behind it says you secret entrance thanks for the tip Alex so where is the secret entrance I need to find a V preferably one of Alex's troop I oh. need that poster, but that's vampproof glass. What's the fun of being a vampire if you can't break things? That doesn't cut the glass. That's disappointing. You got Click Clock the Clown, Glutton, Tinderbell, Musty Brethren, Felix, Esmeralda, and Estrella. I Dress in your own era again, huh? Well, it might be fun to try. I was born in Greece, about 0 AD. Let's see what they've got. The lock on the safe is interesting. It looks like you need a seal or ring to open it. Okay. There's a safe in Dead Hip Things. It's next door to Cirque, uh, Cirque Terrible, so there might be a connection between them. I'd break in, but it's a sturdy little thing. The lock mechanism appears to be a seal or a signet ring. I've got to try this out, but it wants some kind of pass. Well, the business card I found says 5,009. I'm going to try that. Pascal. Something easy to remember. Excellent. Now I can shop. Eh, 
let's see. Or something that looks Greek. Yep, that's what I used to wear, all right. What was I thinking? Those diamond buttons are stellar, though. Maybe one will just slip off if I poke it. Oh, her shirt's gone. <laughs> hey. But I have the diamond button. This button is actually made of Zircon Max, an unbreakable substance used in car crushers. Makes for a good defense weapon when sewn on clothing. This shows Alejandro and the entire circus troupe. I think I'll keep this. Gag! I'd better remember that smell in case I run into it again. Not pleasant. Whoever they were, they didn't get inside. Yes, I get it. You see me. Congratulations. You do see me, don't you? Do you know I'm a vampire? Who trained you to do that? Why don't you make yourself useful and go find another vampire? I'm looking for one. Go on, sniff one out for me. Not going to work for me, is that it? What'll it take, Mutt? A steak? I'm all out. Oh, he's crying. Oh, cinnamon doggy. This dog has been trained to sniff out bees. I wonder if I could get the little beast to find another bee for me. What do dogs like? Okay, go back to the cor uh, vampire corridor. But I'd rather not get bitten. They can be very food defensive. They're gone now. Here you go, little buddy. Is this what you wanted? That was fast. Hope you know a good vet. It worked. Good doggy. No, that sounds stupid. What should I call you? What do humans call their pets? Something disgustingly saccharine? Baby? Woozy? Fluffy, lady, cinnamon. The color fits. Sorry, it's stuck in my head now. It's cinnamon. Okay, cinnamon, go find another vampire. Go. Okay. This is a bird's eye view of VQ and its premises. Dahlia's location is marked by her portrait. Cinnamon is somewhere on the streets chasing out a living vampire. You can guess how far Cinnamon is by paying attention to how loud his barks are. Find Cinnamon, find a vampire. Bark, buddy, bark. Go bark for me. It's fainter. Oh, he's close. No. I found him! Hi, buddy! Somehow it was like very, very easy the first time. Cinnamon Sparks have led you to an alleyway behind the blood bank. That's quite an outfit she has on. Hmm. Give blood to humans. There's a severe shortage of medical blood supplies. For humans in crisis, support your species. Donate today. It looks like a caricature of a nurse, not an actual nurse. You've done an adequate job, Cinnamon. No, that's not right. Good dog. Lovely. The garbage department must be on strike. I know you're in there. Come out. Shh! Go away and shut that dog up. You're going to attract them. Them who? Who attacked the VQ? What do I look like, the nightly news? I'm safe in here. Got food for years. I ain't coming out and I ain't talking. Go away. Looks like they have a camera ID system on the door. Too bad I don't look like I work here. I finally found the V with his head still attached, but he's not talking. I could open the blood bank door, he'd be squawking another the two. There must be a way to fool that camera ID system. Aha! Okay, uh, let's see. No. 
Use my vampire senses. Good dog. Hey. You again? You have a serious hygiene issue. Oh, hey there! This must be my lucky day, running into such a pretty uh, lady twice. I was on my way out of the VQ, but I heard the dog barking, and <laughs> curiosity got the better of me, I guess. I hid when I heard someone coming. How about this? You tell me why you're following me, or, you know, I can't even think of an option B. Maybe because there isn't one. Okay, I'm a private eye. I was hired by the city of New Orleans to look into what happened in the VQ. I figured maybe you knew something. I meant no harm, honest. Anywho, uh, what are you doing here? Excuse me? What brings you to the VQ? You looking for something? Yeah, I'm looking for dinner. And lucky me, I just found it. Not so fast. This pizza is loaded with garlic. Stay back. You are disgusting. <laughs> See ya, doll. That's the weirdest human I have ever met. This guy smells fishy. I caught him following me twice. Then he had the nerve to question me about what I was doing in New Orleans. He's human, so he can't be interested in the sun potion for himself. Is he working for a V? If I find him again, he's toast. He's a jerk. Nurse Nancy, you're looking particularly luscious today. Let me open the door. Hey, shut the door! No. Any scary invaders out there want to behead this guy? He's all yours. Shut up! Sheesh! Okay, I'll tell you. It was a couple of nights ago. I was out in the streets like usual. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, these hooded guys swept in. They started tearing vamps apart. Some V's tried to put up a fight, but these guys were strong. Really old, man. And they smelled it, too. What did they want? I heard they were looking for Alexando Filoff. And where can I find Alejandro? No idea. He runs the Circa Terrible. Go over there. I did. It's closed. Cinnamon, bark. Shut up! Okay, I know a V in his troop. Name is Musty Brethren. He lives over at Restful Acres. He might know where you can find Alexando. Now shut the door! Thanks for the help. Nice to meet you. Rare trophy acquired. The sexy little number will be useful for future Halloween parties and playing doctor. Good dog. Slick said the VQ was invaded by a foreign sect of vampires in robes, and they were looking for Alejandro. Apparently, Cedric, Cedric is not the only one after the sun potion. Slick gave me a name. Musty brethren at uh, Restful Acres. Maybe he knows where to find Alejandro, or the secret entrance to the theater. The invaders must have been here too. I hope they didn't find Musty. There's no way to know unless I can find him myself. And that means fixing this thing. Okay. Hmm, lovely black cat. Here, puss. Curious necklace. Think I'll borrow it. Okay. Do all the animals have red eyes? I can do. 
buttons. The buttons are missing. Oh no, I don't need that. I need to fix this directory. Oh, oh right. Uh, there's something else. There we go. Insert the key to proceed. There we go. Search my name. There's his place. Is it? Oh crap. The invaders have been here. Musty can't be completely dead, or he'd have turned to ash. But he's not looking too talkative either. Uh, I can't get a break. The foreign vampires have already been to Musty's. And to think of it, Musty's having a worse day than I am. I'll work around, look around, see what I can find. Oh, his hat fell off. What happened to his MP3 player? This antique looks like it works, but I don't see a record. Look at that purple tongue. Was it something he ate? I had a purse last year in that color. That purple tongue is curious. I should look around and see if I can figure out what he ate. Scarabs are eaters of carrion. That's dead flesh to you and me. Despite my hundred dollar hand cream, I qualify. I'm not putting my hand in there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't either, but... Congratulations, you have found a Scarab Circus! There's a signet ring. Oh, Musty's tongue is purple. I think he swallowed something. Maybe a little surgery can retrieve it. There's a signet ring in Musty's Scarab case. I need to get it, but I'll have to find a way to get rid of those bugs first. Hmm, they aren't doing anything. What do they want? Party music? Time to go find it. That is not a trumpet! That's a hearse. Congratulations, you have found tweezers and a tongue depressor. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Found a phonograph record. So I have to go find Musty again. If I just try to walk there, she won't be happy about it. <laughs> Turn the record on. Scarabs are eaters of carrion. That's dead flesh to you and me. Despite my hundred dollar hand cream, I qualify. I'm not putting my hand in there. There they go. Wow, I'm impressed. Who knew scarabs were so talented? They're gone. That was fun. I can take the ring now. Yep. He's trying. He's opening his mouth. There. Now I just need to pull it out. Secret entrance, 100 dormant. Musty brethren, this member of the Cirque Terrible Empire Troop built himself as an Egyptian priest and wrangled scarabs in his act. Did he know the secrets of the sun potion? A purple tone. That was, was the only clue he left behind. You've got this card by retrieving the secret information mon Musty ate. Poor Musty, let him rest in one piece. Okay. A uh, trophy card. Musty was so determined to hide this from his killers that he swallowed it. Is, an adre is it an address? I need to find it. Hey. I don't know what that little bat is about. 
Let's open this safe. Oh! This was in the safe at Dead Hip Things. I have a feeling it's related to the cir to the circuit to replay somehow. Okay. So this time, we'll search by address. 100 Dormant Drive is an address in Restful Acres. This looks like a code lock. How secret entrancey. Okay. Right? Someone who is running left. Okay. Sitting. Facing right. Sitting left but waving. And jumping. You've opened the door, now you can descend. Here goes nothing. To be continued. Episode complete. Congratulations, you have successfully finished this episode of Dying for Daylight. Episode 2, The Wizard in the Basement, is now unlocked. Continue press play. That was pretty fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, too. Well, that's it for Episode 1 of Dying for Daylight. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is First Fire Wind Dragon signing off. Chorus, sound of trumpets, and the blaze it peace.